Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. I'm currently on a fishing adventure. Today is the day. We are gonna catch some crappie. I got a hot tip on where the crappie are biting from a subscriber. Shout out several others. Thank you very much for the tip. I really appreciate it. You're awesome, man. Thank you for watching as well. I really appreciate you. So we're gonna come down here and I actually have my kayak as well. But we're gonna see if we can catch it from the bank. And if we can't, then we'll get the kayak out. A lot's been going on, guys. If you follow my channel, you know I'm always searching for these fish. I'm actually a little bit over eager about it. Hunting them down too early. I've been hunting these crappies everywhere for months now. And I'm too eager, too excited, but finally, it's gonna happen. I've been searching high and low everywhere. It's going to all different kinds of places, different reservoirs, different locations, and just trying to find these fish. But, um, matter of fact, <laughs> I'm actually recovering from poison sumac. If you guys watched the last episode, I went crick fishing, and unbeknownst to me at the time, I actually was right next to a poison sumac shrub. Um, there's poison ivy, there's poison oak, and then there's poison sumac, which I believe is what I got into. So, it was not fun. It was itchy all over the place. It took me a few weeks to recover. One of the worst experiences that I've gone through. It was just the mental aspect of it was the worst because I didn't really know for sure what it was and it kept spreading. So, I was like, is this poison ivy? What is this? Enough talk, let's get down there and see what we can hook into. There we go, fish guys. First, second fish, first one if I land it. Feels like a nice little black crappie. Hear that? First black crappie for today, he's a small guy. But hey, finally found the crappies. They're finally pushing up shallow. I can actually see them down below in the water. Cast number three. See so if we can get a fish. Crappie. They look like um sorry I'm a little bit out of breath. Um I've been picking up some trash. They look like they're moved in shallow. They're in that um transition phase where they're starting to push in shallow. Cause I was here last week and I didn't see any crappie at all. And now I can actually see one sitting right there. Actually two right there. A third one right here. And a fourth one right there. So they're pushing in shallow. And staging for the spawn. They actually might be spawning as well. Because they're pretty dark. They got their tuxedos on. Oh, there's one. There's a fish. There we go. That one feels like there's weight to him, but... He's pretty, he's pretty deep. He's fighting like a crappie. Oh, yep. Oh yeah, he's dark. Nice black crappie with tuxedo on for that spawn. Heck yeah. This is what I've been waiting all damn spring for. To catch these fish right here. Did you guys notice how how dark that fish is, dark and black. That's what they say is when they have their tuxedos on because they're spawning, getting all fancy for their mate. But he hit that red and yellow crappie tube. That's probably one of my favorite colors here to use, if I can get it out. There we go, right there. These fish, um, they tend to run a little bit smaller, but there's so many of them. So we're, I'm going to keep this guy. He's going to cook up nicely. There's going to be a lot of people out here. There we go, fish guys. Got another crappie on. It's, it's not fast action, it's slow. But 
Just gotta have patience. He's feeling fighting pretty good. Another black crappie. That fish right there, he's got a little bit, it's a little bit heavier. Right on the top of the mouth. Look how dark these fish are. Just black. So that's gonna make a good meal. So excited. I'm not getting hyped because there's a lot of people around, but man, I am so excited. That's what I've been waiting for. You guys know if you follow my channel, I've been waiting for these fish all spring. It's starting to heat up. A few people cleared out. They gave up. They don't have the patience, but we're going to stick it out. Catch these crappies. I mean, we've been after them for months, so why would we leave now? Guys, these fish are just scattered. You got some stragglers right here by the rocks, but they're really closed mouth. They won't bite. You could put your lure right in front of them and they won't bite. And there's some out deeper. And those are, for me, have been biting a little bit more better. So I've been working to the, the rock lines and now I'm going out deep. Just trying to see where the more active fish are at. And what I'm doing is just casting as far as I can and just keeping the slack out of my line and just letting that jig drop until I feel a bite and if I feel like I get all the way to the bottom then I'll slowly reel it in give it a couple of jigs but it's I don't know I fish every 10 20 casts so it's kind of slow got one guys we got one Look at that fish. I didn't even see him. He was down lower. I was actually sight fishing some other fish. And this guy was lower than those. And he hit it. Barely hooked. Look at that fish, guys. Freaking awesome. Just right there on those rocks right there. He was a little bit deeper. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Nice black crappie. That's about the average size around here. They don't get too big, but the numbers are really good. That's awesome. Let's get some more. Got him. Got him. That was so cool. So I brought it from underneath him actually and lift it up and then he seen it and hit it. Fish. Another dark fish. He's small. So freaking awesome. This guy was like closed mouth. Didn't want to bite. It's a subtle, subtle bite. But we got him. Look at that, guys. Another fish. Not huge. But hey, we're just picking them off. It's just a little light bite. Beautiful colors. Oh, look how dark it is. Gotta love it. Gotta love crop fish, man. Yes. switch. Here you go guys. Another black crappie. Yeah boy. I've been picking up trash as I find it, but um my other stringer is being used. So I just figured, you know what? I'll just use this throwing away fishing line. Make me another stringer. So I got my fishing line here. Throwing away trash. Just gonna put it basically like a stringer. 
there and then tie it off there we go we got a stringer now I'm just gonna just buckle the loop right into my backpack just buckle it like that boom stringer they ain't going nowhere. Here we go, fight guys. Ish. Ish. Here we go, another copy. Yeah. Stay down, stay down. Another little one. I'm gonna let this fish go, he's a little small. There it goes. Just sitting there on the rocks. There's another one right over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But there's just fish all on these rocks. They're not very active. See that guy, how black he is? He's on my stringer. There's the other one. Those are in the mouth. All right guys, a little update. It's about 1.30 and we got into some fish. It's not super fire bite but it's slowly picking up. So I've noticed as it's getting hotter and later in the day, these fish are becoming a little bit more active, picking them up more. Um, so we're just gonna keep going, see what we can get. Just letting that drop, slowly reeling it in. There you go, bite. Oh, I missed them, missed them. That hit hard too. There he is, there he is, there he is. He came back for it. That's a shiny one. Yeah, he's active, he is fighting. Look at that bad boy. Another little, little fish. But that's as we expected around here. Another crappie. This is a female guys. Gotta love crappie fishing, man. You. This color is working really well. I've noticed they're hitting out further in that deeper end of the water, but close, close enough to those boulders, but in the deep end, if that makes sense. Fish, what the heck? What the heck? Fish, cast after cast now. These fish are heated up. These fish are on. Yes, this is what we live for. Fine fishing, I ain't living. You guys know the drill. Another one. Same size, cookie cutter. Off that brown chartreuse color with the little black speckles. That's the ticket. Another one guys, cast after cast, next one. So the fish before this, I cast, he hit and I set the hook, but I didn't get him. And then a uh, couple more cranks and he came back for it, hit again, I caught that other fish. And then next cast right after that, caught this one. So these fish are heating up. This is, this is exactly what we've been waiting for this whole time this spring, searching high and low. I mean, I've been fishing everywhere looking for these fish and finally they're starting to heat up. They're pushing in close and they're, they're getting ready. They're staging for that spawn and pretty soon it's going to be on fire. Here we go. We're just going to put it on my homemade stringer, AKA trash that I picked up. An old fishing line. It's trying to get a good stringer there. Right there. That's the cast. Should be in the strike zone right now. Give it a little pop, see what happens. There it is. See that, just that subtle little pop guys? And a fish bit. Just that little, little, little action triggered that fish to bite. 
It's just that little subtle pop. That's all it takes sometimes. That's the difference between hooking up with the fish and not hooking up with the fish. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a feel. You know what I mean? It's just a, a feeling that I get. Like if, if it's not biting, I know there's fish there. Sometimes I'll just give a little twitch, a little pop. And bam. Fish will hit it. I actually switched to a more subtle presentation. I took my split shot off. That way I can just drift down slower and be in the strike zone longer. And I was reeling in, wasn't getting anything. I knew I was in the strike zone, wasn't getting a bite. So gave it a little pop and that's all the difference it made. Just that little pop made that fish react and he hit. That's it guys. A crappie tube, that is it. That's the setup. And um, I hate using bobbers. I'm going to use a bobber if I absolutely have to. There's a lot of people out here guys, sorry about that. Talking in the background. There it is, another one, cast after cast, fish. That's what I'm talking about, look at that baby, another, another gorgeous, delicious crappie, yeah, barely hooked. There he is, white. Someone was home that time. Hi right, guys, another crappie. Can you say you gotta love it? Springtime, crappie is starting to bite. And what I've noticed is this morning, um, the bite was pretty slow. They were closed mouth. They wouldn't do much. And uh, you'd cast like, I don't know, 20 times, maybe catch one. As the, the day progressed, I could see them moving a little bit more, become more active. And now it's, Literally like almost cast after cast every time. Oh. Guys, I almost got that fish on the bed that's been sitting there all day. It hasn't budged, I couldn't get him to bite. He actually just hit it, but I didn't get set the hook on him. He just mouthed the tail right now. I'm getting him pissed off. <laughs> he bit it again. Dang it. That fish is sitting right in there. He bit at it twice. I added him enough to bite it twice. I'm going to see if I can get him. He chased it, he chased it. Got him, got him guys, got him. Yes, yes. Oh, he's fighting hard. Finally got him. Oh, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> Look at this. Unbelievable. Caught him. That male protecting that bed. I agitated him enough, he finally hit it. 
Oh my god, I see. I've been watching this fish. That was freaking amazing, guys. I've been watching this fish on that bed all day. In the morning, he would not budge. He wouldn't do nothing. He wouldn't. He wouldn't even react to the bait at all. And I just happened to cast over him, and he kind of budged. So I kept messing with him, kept agitating him, and he went after it like two times, bit it two, three times. And finally, this last time, I hooked him. You guys seen it? That was on camera. But this fish is a male. And he's protecting that bed, so I'm gonna put him back on there. That was awesome. Let's see if he goes on there. There he goes. He's turning. He got the right way. That's one of the coolest things I've done. Right, I see another one on his bed. Let's see if I can get him. I got another one that was on a different bed, but I hooked him. Another male, look at that. Probably one of the bigger ones that I caught today. Look at that. Nice and dark. <laughs> Sight fishing for black crappie on their beds. I'm gonna put him back on his bed though. There he goes. Back to it. Fish guys. Hooked up. Hooked up. These fish are just littered all along the bank. Another copy, put it on the stringer. There he is. Fish. Cast after cast, baby. Yeah. Get in here. Oh, he's playing good. Oh, this is a bigger male. Yes. Yeah. Nice crappie right there. Look how dark he is. He's just dark. His face is just all black. Black, black. He hit hard. <sighs> That's half the hole right there. All right guys, I am getting hungry. So I'm heading to a spot where I'm gonna cook up some dinner. I'm so hungry. I haven't had crappie in a while, so this is gonna be good. Okay, so I got a couple of crappies here. I'm just gonna, since they're on the smaller side, I'm just gonna scale them, cut them, and then whole fry them. Just gonna start at the tail and come up. These are so easy to scale. Get a knife, something, abrupt edge, spoon, fork, whatever. Start from behind the scales, the opposite way of the scales, and go up. And Make sure to get these tough spots right here. Underneath the belly, underneath, underneath the tail there. There's a few people out here, but right now it's pretty quiet. You can listen 
All you hear is the crickets and the water. Pretty peaceful right now in the evening. I just gotta get outdoors, catch these fish, clean them, and cook them. There's not, nothing better, nothing more rewarding. Makes the fish and your meal just that much more enjoyable. This one here is a female. You can see his belly's a little bit fat, full of eggs. So many crappie in this reservoir. And a fish this size, about your average. And like I said before, there's plenty of numbers of these guys in here. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the insides out of it. Yep, full of eggs. A lot of eggs. Just took off the head and the guts and everything came out. There we go. There is our clean fish. I am so hungry. Some oil on, let it get warmed up. Just gonna put some black pepper. Now that I think about it, we don't need black pepper. Because I'm actually gonna use lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. On the inside. See that little nugget of fish that got stuck to the bottom of the pan. Mm. Okay, okay, not bad. Now I'm just gonna pull the meat off this this crappie off the bones. My tortilla here, put some meat on it. A little bit more lemon pepper. Got some old lettuce here. Boom, right on top. Fresh avocado. Oh, this is gonna be bomb. Oh yeah, look how good that looks. Perfectly done. Set that in there for right now. Get some avocado on there. Boom. Oh. He was like, I want on there. Fill on there perfectly. Another slice. And final touch. Lime. Oh yeah. Oop. There it is. All right guys, here's what it all comes down to. All our hard work right there. Remove some of this lettuce. Avocado, crappie lettuce, lime, lemon pepper. Cheers.
little more seasoning. Mm-hmm. That creaminess of avocado really brings it together. I don't usually eat crappie and tacos like this, but I thought I'd try it today. It's not bad. Actually, what I'm going to do, check it out. It's some avocado with lemon pepper. This avocado was really, like, perfectly ripe. So good. Just got to eat it by itself. Boom. Mmm. So creamy. And when you bite into it, you can, it, that liquid in it, but it's still creamy at the same time. Yeah, delicious. That's all I got to say. All right, guys. As always, I had an amazing day out here. We came out, got some coffee. Um... The bite was pretty good in the next few weeks it'll heat up even better and we're just gonna keep crappie fishing from here on out we might do some other things but mainly probably gonna be a lot of crappie fishing so like I said earlier I recovered from that poison sumac I got my gear my backpack my favorite hat washed up and back anyways um got our fish got our crappies brought them down here cooked them up those tacos were delicious and I want to thank every one of you for clicking on this video and watching I really appreciate it if you like the content please give me a thumbs up it really helped me out and for all you guys that are dropping likes you guys are awesome man keep it up you rock but with that being said guys remember if you ain't fishing you ain't living I'll catch you in the next one